ladies and gentlemen, we are live. It is four o'clock in the beautiful county of the Netherlands, and today I'm making one of my life dreams come true. Today, I am the anchor of the Photonics News. Today we had the first ever product release at Epic. And for many of you who follow the online technology meetings, you should know that I am extremely happy for many reasons. First, because I'm a happy person. Second, today is my birthday. I'm becoming 42, so I have to be happy. And third, because last week, Epic became the largest photonic association in the world, which is such a big thing, actually. I cannot even believe it. But today, Today we talk about product release and I am so happy to do this. This was a dream of uh, the Epic team to be able to communicate the news using, using the best tools that we have in these very difficult times. The, you know what is the best part of this news? It's all good news. Uh, now these days if you put the, the news in the TV, you don't hear the best possible news that you want to hear. Today you're going to hear the best news we have in Photonics from the EPIC, from the European Photonic Industry Consortium. And we have a fantastic set of companies who are going to tell us the, their big news, their great news, and also the kind of opportunities for collaboration that this news represent. I actually would like to say that we have a fantastic program that's going to happen in the next hour of your life. So we're going to start on time, we're going to finish on time. We're going to start with Vigo System. And there they are going to tell us about their technology for midwave infrared and how they are using to develop a compact camera. Then we're going to go to Israel, we're going to go to Holo Or, and we're going to hear about Deep Clip. We're going to hear about technology based on DOEs for glass processing. And most important, they actually managed to have a Gaussian light beam that has constant power over the entire depth of focus. This is actually quite a big thing. And afterwards, we go back to Poland, we go to a company called Fluence, and there they are going to talk to us about a compact femtosecond laser at 30 watts of power without a sesame, without an amplifier. You will be quite amazed with this company. I actually particularly amazed about this. And in Epic, we have all types of companies. The next one will be from France, Tematis. Tematis is releasing a market report on the market for compact line spectrometers, miniature, micro, and also chip size. Afterwards, Afterwards, we go to one of the companies that is part of the micro-optics revolution in the world. We go to Florian Anning, we go to one of the semicon manufacturing equipments that we have in Epic, and they're going to talk to us about the light scale. They're going to talk to us about maskless lithography. And we'll finish the meeting. We finish the meeting in beautiful Finland, the land of saunas, the land of snow, the land of MBE growth of three fives from manufacturing all the way to instruments. We go to Modulite. And Modulite is actually investing 27 million euros for a five expansion towards adding 11,000 square feet to the production facilities, being one being one of the success stories that we have in Europe. What an amazing day, what an amazing program. Thank you so much for supporting this. Why don't we get started? Let's start the news. Let's start the program. Let's start going to Warsaw. Let's go to Vigo System and let's hear about the mid infrared technologies they have there. Chesh, Chersey, thank you very much for joining this first ever news edition of the product release of Epic. The floor and the attention of everyone goes to the country of vodka, goes to Poland, goes to Vigo System. Let me unmute you so we all can hear you, yes. We still have you muted. This is the, 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 the perk of being live. That makes everything far more interesting. Cheshe, can you unmute? Yes. Yes, I'm, I'm live now and thank you very much once again. I'm trying to share my screen, so I, I hope it is. And here it is, the affordable detection module from Vigo. Uh, and before I tell you more about what it is, uh, I want to uh, sh show you a bit uh, uh, who we are and what we offer. And uh, as some of you, I hope now, and I hope soon all the world knows that we, have, we are the company who has over 30 years of continuous improvement of infrared detectors. Right now we offer not only the detectors themselves, but also uh, epitaxial wafers and also uh, ready to operate infrared detection modules, which, and, and one of them, I'm gonna show you uh, the latest one, I'm gonna show you in a while. 
but uh, first the thing uh, we boast as a company the most uh, is the full production line, uh, full semiconductor production line starting from Epitaxi. Then we have our own processing technologies uh, and detector packaging. Uh, technologies uh, up to the integration with custom tailored electronics for the best results for infrared detectors. And uh, here's the latest fruit of, uh, of our pro uh, product development, the affordable detection module. Uh, here you can see how compact it is and it is one of the best, uh, one of the main advantages of the module. Um, and uh, I want to stress that uh, even though it's so compact, it is already a detection module. So the detector itself with low noise preamplifier inside, uh, which uh, ensures the operation, uh, the frequency response from DC to up, up to three megahertz, which is quite a lot comparing to uh, other detectors for this spectral range. Uh, a really good uh, detectivity. Uh, this is made from uh, indium arsenide with antimonium uh, wafers. So, uh, the raw HS compliance uh, ensures market safety for, uh, for example, medical ap uh, application, but not only. And what is more, uh, due to our uh, production line, it is uh, slated for bulk quantities for high scale production. And thus we can ensure uh, really uh, affordable prices for the module itself. Uh, of course, we are constantly developing our product. Uh, other spectral ranges are soon to be available from one to three microns. We are working very hard on temperature stabilization and or cooling, uh, some development uh, in optics also to, uh, to develop anti-fringing uh, techniques and the evaluation board with digital output, which is gonna help uh, in, in, uh, in rapid prototyping and evaluation uh, of our module in your system. Uh, there are, of course, numerous applications of our affordable de detection module. Here's one of the main, that is um, gas analysis, mainly through uh, tunable diode uh, laser absorp uh, absorption spectroscopy, but as well also uh, cavity enhanced spectroscopy and a lot. Uh, here, the uh, broad electrical bandwidth helps uh, and ensures real-time operation and also allows the use of fast modulated lasers. There are a lot of compounds which can be detected using our module like CO2, uh, methane and so on. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's much more than here on this, uh, on this graph. And uh, the, uh, the fact that our module is really compact and robust and closed uh, in TO package uh, ensures for in situ measurements and also for all the systems uh, that uh, the detector is, is going to be robust and reliable uh, for working uh, in, uh, in harsh environments, which, which sometimes are present uh, where the application is present. And uh, besides the gas analysis application, I want you to take home other applications, possible applications like temperature monitoring, uh, monitoring of industrial and, and lab processes, uh, laser parameters monitoring, and also, and I suppose also a lot which I haven't covered here. Uh, the main advantages of our modules are uh, compactness, robustness, and low price. Uh, please remember that the module is uh, equipped with electronics, so the only thing you need to worry about is the readout. Broad electrical bandwidth and OHS compliance give us advantage over uh, detectors, for, for example, uh, uh, containing lead uh, like PBS. And uh, we are always open for collaborations for OEM versions and customizing and, and, and high-scale production and high-scale projects. Okay, I think I covered everything and my five minutes are gone. Uh, so thank you uh, for your attention and I'm of course ready for questions. Thank you. Parcho, thank you very much for a great presentation. I think at the end of the day, what we want to hear is the great news that you have, uh, which is that right now this technology is actually suitable 
suitable for affordable detectors that cover the whole wavelength range from 3 to 12 micrometer, which is the one that is the golden fruit, the golden fruit. I have been following your company quite strongly, and I actually noticed that uh, around summer or just before summer, you also manufacture a Vixel, is that right? Uh, yes, we are developing them, but uh, this is a different division of Vigo. But yes, uh, we are we are also developing Vixels, and yes, maybe we can join those two uh, those two pro products together to to and 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 combine them, or maybe offer them to other companies uh, for their applications. Yes. Well, we have noticed in the in these industries that the the, the biggest the biggest. Uh, need for making mid-infrared detectors, mid-infrared cameras, mid-infrared systems is to reduce the price of the active imaging, to reduce the price of the of the light source. But we know this is going to happen. We know that this is a piece of semiconductor. What is the vision of Vigo towards building or towards working with your customers on building these mid-infrared systems? Uh, well, we are, <clears throat> as I said, we are very flexible and open for any kind of collaborations. We are ready to alter our designs or even maybe develop something from scratch, but mainly we strive to provide uh, uh, solutions like this affordable module, which not, which not only provide very good parameters and are really competitive, uh, in the market, but also provide the low price uh, and uh, high scale production, which, as you said, the, uh, the market is emerging, the light sources are becoming cheaper and cheaper, and this opens the way for high scale production and for high scale pro projects, and we, are re and, and, and we are ready for them. It is uh, quite a success story to have Vigo as, uh, as an epitaxial wafer company being able to satisfy the needs for their customers. I have organized meetings in every very location in the world on every particular market segment. And when it comes to, to, it comes to detectors for harsh environments, when it comes to detectors for space, for defense, for uh, sensing, everybody knows Vigo. So thank you. Thank you very much for being for being representing Europe so well. Dovichanya, Dovichanya, so say, let's move on with the program. And I'm going to go to one of my favorite countries. I'm going to go to Israel and I'm going to talk about, about diffractive optical elements because I love, I love manufacturing glass. You know that, Nathan. You know how much I love glass and how much I love your diffractive optical elements. Let us know what are the great news you hear from Holor today. Thank you, Jose, for this very kind introduction. So I'll just share my screen for a second. Okay, here it is. Right. So... Uh, here, for a presentation one, great. So thank you everyone for making the time to join me. My name is Nathan Kaplan. I'm the CTO of Holor. Jose, do you hear me? Loud and clear, ah, CTO of Holor. Yeah, I got no response. I'm not used to it from you. <laughs> so, uh, and we are the world's leading manufacturer of diffractive optics for high power laser beam shaping. Yes. Okay, so basically Holor, a bit about us before I delve into this glass cutting that you're so excited about. So Holo was founded in 1989, making us one of the world's pioneer companies to use diffractive optical elements for commercial use. I think we were the first. We started off with coherent and have expanded to cover most of the laser world ecology for high power laser shaping for multiple purposes. And all material processing purposes, aesthetic and various other uh, applications, we do shaping for lasers with our unique diffractive technology technology, which is very accurate, it has absolute angular accuracy. And of course, since we're around for more than 30 years, we have vast experience and expertise in the shaping of laser beams from the deep UV to the mid IR. So basically, Holor's speciality is diffractive optics, where a component manufacturer located in Israel that does all design, production, and almost all finishing steps in-house in Israel. Uh, thus, we can assure all our customers of quality and all critical parameters such as LDT and performance for our elements because we test them ourselves. Now, basically for those of you that do not know DOE, DOE are thin uh, phase relief structures, can be multi or binary, that shape the light by shaping the phase of the light. So uh, unlike refractive lenses, they can do a lot of things like adding functions in a single, single surface or splitting the light that are impossible to do with standard optics. And specifically today, uh, I think this follows a talk I had in Epic 
two years ago in 2018 with Jose, where one of the one of our end users asked us, um, how what's your solution for cutting glass with DOEs? And they said, uh, well, well, we said basically we do diffractive accidents, which are great. They make bezel beams. Bezel beams are very nice, and it's all great. Like you see here below in this area, if you see my marker, bezel beams have a large depth of focus. They stay at the same waist, but they have a problem, as you see here, that the intensity is not uniform over the defocus range. Now, in glass filament cutting, which is the main method that's practical to cut glass, you need to concentrate the IR pulse to very small spot sizes, something like one or five microns. And eventually, you want this very, very, very small spot to go and stay that way over the entire length of the glass, which can be something like three millimeters. Now, all of you that know a bit about optics know that it's impossible to do with Gaussian beams. The depth of focus is the Rayleigh distance. For a beam with a two micron waist, you get maybe eight microns, six microns of depth of focus. So, the, so a possible solution is to use bezel beams, pure bezel beams coming out of an axicon. One of our main families that we sell quite a lot of for glass cutting is our diffractive axicons family that has no apex and they have perfect angular accuracy and can be as low angle as you want. So you, you have a lot of freedom to operate. But unfortunately, they have this long tail that you see in this graph. The red one is a bezel beam. And uh, as you probably see, this tail wastes a lot of energy. If the process happens here above this threshold, you're wasting quite a lot of energy. And also the, the actual filamentation of the glass is not of, of uniform white, because for a Gaussian, if the energy changes, the waste changes and you get unequal filamentation and the cut has more waviness. So one of the ways to solve that is to use a unique solution called deep cleave that we're launching today. And this is basically the entire focusing optics package together. It gives you both the high NA objective that you need to go down to 1.8 microns. It's a single module. And this functionality that basically creates, you see here, that's the measurement from our measurement system of this deep cleave that basically creates a top hat along the Z direction. The intensity of this central lobe of this Gaussian bezel beam you see here, stays the same over the entire defocus range, which can be as large as two millimeters in air, for example, which is three millimeters in most glasses. Now, uh, this module is easy to in integrate. It has an SM1 connector at the back. It is straightforward, has no special tolerances. It's quite easy to align. I mean, we align one in the lab in five minutes using our manual. Someone untrained, it will take it less than an hour for the first one. And it gives you the glass perform cutting performance that, that's needed for a cutting edge ultra short pulse lasers at around the one micron scale, which is what's now being used for stealth dicing of glass. So as you can see here in our laboratory setup, we test each and every module that comes out of our production to show the customers and they get the specific report for that specific module that shows that it reaches the performance as needed. Now, this is a solution for single mode lasers. It gives you what you need for glass cutting. It is not tied to a specific laser or specific manufacturer, and it can be easily integrated into any existing system for X, Y movement and filament glass cutting. That's what I wanted to say today. If you have any questions about this or other glass cutting solutions, such as our uh, diffractive hexagons, you're welcome to ask me, and you can, of course, contact us to follow up on that. Thank you very much. It is only two days since we had the, our online technology meeting on glass processing. Last Monday, you saw the presentation from Applied Materials, who were looking for certain defined, very defined bean spot. Uh, what do you think makes this deep cleave unique? What is the key a specification that I'm going to go now to apply technologies called and until then you have to work with Nathan. So basically this sort of shaping is offered by some competitors, but most of them are large companies that offer this as a part of an integrated solution only with their laser. Uh, some examples with a different approach are, for example, Trumpf, yeah, or uh, Coherent. Our module is independent. You can purchase it and integrate it to any existing ultra-short laser, such as Fluence's ultra-short laser, for example, or one of the other laser companies in the ecology. And uh, since it's our unique diffractive IP for this sort of shaping, it's not based on the same concept as used by other companies. 
you have no strings attached. You are free to operate and develop your own system at your own pace. We have a lot of room to customize. You can play with the work distance, which is quite large. It's more than seven millimeters, which is a lot for such a high objective. We can play with the wavelengths. There is a lot of freedom to customize at low cost this module. Anybody who is in photonics loves diffractive optics because they are beautiful. Actually, I can see just behind you how beautiful ah, okay. diffractive optics can be. Thank you, Nathan, for being such a hero on Epic, developing these technologies for the whole community. We want to help you integrate uh, this into systems. And for that, we need the laser. You made a fantastic introduction to our next company. Let's hear the good news from Poland, let's go to Fluence, let's go to Darius and hear what we can do with a smaller, but still power, 30 watts, femtosecond lasers. Fluence, Darius, the world yes. is Hi. yours. Thank you very much, Jose. Uh, you can hear me well, right? Loud and clear. Great, excellent. So uh, it's a pleasure to, to be here at this product launch and especially to be uh, talking just after Nathan, because as Nathan said, well, our uh, technologies fit together very well. So uh, uh, you just have to get our laser, Nathan's uh, deep cleave, and you can do wonders with us. So uh, let me share my presentation. I, I think you can you can see it now. Uh, yes, so uh, Fluence, like Hoss like, uh, already said, it's another company from Poland today. Uh, we are located in Warsaw, where we have our headquarters and where we produce our lasers. Uh, but there's also a news that we are opening a new application lab uh, very soon in Wrocław, so that our customers will be able to visit us and uh, check their application before they purchase a laser. Uh, uh, this is what, what we look like uh, around the world. So we have already some, some nice uh, distributors around uh, uh, in, in Europe and Asia. Uh, and just to give you an idea, uh, who are Fluence? Uh, so uh, we, we, we do ultra fast lasers and ultra fast uh, lasers uh, based on all fiber technology. And uh, we, we started our research in 2003 and Fluence was founded in 2016. And since then we, we bring like new products and uh, we'll develop new techniques. And uh, well, today I'm happy to tell you more about our newest product, Jasper Flex. So uh, just to give you an overview about our products. So uh, we, we, we do have a broad range already, right? We have this uh, small, tiny oscillators. Uh, we have uh, Halite, which is two watt laser. Uh, we, we have uh, Jasper laser, which goes up to 60 watts and three really amazing high power, high energy laser. Uh, and now we, we introduced a new version of Jasper, which is a more compact and a shorter version that will fit in more systems. Um, just, just to tell you what is unique about us, right? So Fluence, uh, we, we built our lasers from, from the scratch, right? So uh, we have uh, the oscillator that is truly all fiber and we really tested very extensively. Uh, the oscillator can survive up to 40G and we, we, we do this test on the vibrational platform and also like very fa fast range of temperatures. Uh, and uh, the idea is that if the oscillator is stable, then if you amplify it, the, the, the entire system is also stable, right? So uh, this, this, this uh, our unique oscillator with no sesame inside is used in our new laser Jasper Flex. So uh, Jasper Flex is a uh, very nice, very unique laser because it's a truly all fiber monolithic construction, which means that you have no free space component inside apart from the compressor at the very end, right? So uh, the oscillator, the preamplifier, ampl final amplification is all fiber. And uh, this gives you this uh, amazing stability and reliability because there's nothing to misalign inside of the laser, right? So uh, uh, we, we, we now, uh, we, with Jasper Flex, can offer uh, up to 30 watts, uh, which is uh, enough for uh, many, many interesting applications that I will tell you uh, about in a second. Uh, but, but something also special about this laser uh, is that you not only get this power, but you can, of course, combine it with uh, higher harmonics, so we can generate seconds 
the third or fourth harmonic with a special uh, module. And then also uh, we, 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 we built it in a, a such a way that everything is a modular uh, construction so that it is easy to, to replace a part if it was to break. Of course, we, 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 it won't, right? Because uh, it's reliable construction, but we want to be prepared for everything. So uh, uh, well, when it comes to applications uh, of, of such a laser, it's like uh, Nathan already said, it's, uh, it's good for micro machining and uh, glass cutting, for example, using this uh, gauche vessel beam and filamentation, but also like LCD display repair or uh, surface structuring or even ophthalmology. Um, and uh, here I can show you uh, some uh, quickly some of the applications like uh, semiconductor scribing uh, or like what I just said, uh, glass cutting or in volume glass marking, which is a very interesting topic for people who want to uh, well, mark glass without uh, any using any ablation. So just uh, mark it inside the glass so that it cannot uh, be tampered with. Okay, so uh, I just wanted to fit within five minutes. So I think I did quite well. So thank you very much. And uh, uh, please ask me some questions if you have any. You know, one of the things about uh, Darius is that I met him. I met him for the first time last year at Laser Munich and he showed the demonstrator the 60 watts laser and i said this is one of the ones to watch and since then things are moving really fast really quickly you're raising a lot of interest from many many companies and this is one of the good news i want to tell to the to the european ecosystem but for me today you are presenting a smaller version of that amazing system 30 watts what is the gap in the market that you want to cover? What did you have to go from two watts to 60 watts and now go to a 30 watt device? Yes, so, uh, uh, so, so that's a very good question, right? So uh, the, as, uh, the, there's a tendency in, in the market that uh, people want to have something smaller, right? So uh, they, of course, need power. This is very important. But also it is important to, to get a little bit smaller so they can fit the device into their, their, their systems. Um, and uh, well, this is one, one, one thing, and uh, and there is uh, another trend in the market uh, to to also simplify the systems, make it more reliable, and uh, well, in the future we also think this this kind of Jasper Flex uh, will be possible to get it in uh, air cooled versions, which will be uh, already like really cool and something uh, that people want. Darius, today we had the Photonics Media Press in the room. And my friend Megan Davis from ASO Network has a question for you. Megan, what's on your mind? Hi, Darius. Nice to meet you. Um, yeah, just a quick question. Um, I'm just interested, really, are there any particular industries which you're trying to push more than others with the Jasper Flex? Any sort of new, new areas which you're able to now go into? Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, thank you very much for, for your question. So, uh, uh, well, because because taking taking uh, this size and this power, uh, it, it's perfect for uh, consumer electronics. So what, what I said, like OCD display repair or OLED display repair, uh, where you have a faulty pixels and you want to burn them out like selectively. Uh, so that this is like something we are very much interested in. And then of course we are open for uh, some customization of the product. So if you want to go to eye surgery or something like that, this is also a very, very good device for this kind of uh, purpose. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Megan. Darius, let's talk about your preferred future. If we had this uh, meeting in let's say five years, uh, what do you think the, the tendency, the technology trend is for Fluence towards more compact lines or towards higher power systems? Uh, I believe both, right? So, uh, because, you know, it, it always, always uh, depends where, where the market drives us, right? So, uh, so from what we see and uh, from what's happening, uh, you know, two, two, two rooms away from me, uh, I know that uh, we are pursuing this uh, all fiber design. So uh, we will put even more fiber into our all fiber lasers, right? So uh, maybe maybe you'll see some fiber delivery or uh, some, some extra 
extra features uh, that will come. But also, uh, I can say that maybe in uh, maybe in half a year or something, we will have another product release, and this will be really cool, cool, even smaller device and very powerful. So uh, just uh, stay tuned and. And, and and check our website because this uh, is going to be something that we we are even more proud of. So I, I love this teaser. This is great. You know, next year I'm gonna be able to travel again, and I'm gonna travel like crazy. You know, I'm gonna be like this, lying out of the out of the cage. I'm going to go to to Warsaw. I want to be. I want to do the product release live. I want to do it from your headquarters. We will do it next year. I You're promise. welcome. You're very much welcome. And. Uh, I just I just want to show you like at the very uh, end, you know, like as always, you've seen it, Jose, you know, our oscillator with me running from the power bank battery. So it's always with me, always running, you know, <laughs> just just to show people like what a nice device it is. So, An I oscillator cannot... running from a power bank. This is the yeah. best way to to say to, to finish your presentation, Darian Jacobi Parcho Ida Vichanya, because now. Now we go to Thematis. We go to France. And we go to France because Thematis is one of the key market analysts that we have at Epic. They make amazing market reports and they made a market report on the spectroscopy market and the tendency toward more compact products from a compact size all the way to cheap size. Let's hear. Let's hear from Jacek. Jacek, why should we have a look at this market report? Yes. Hello, everyone. Nice to see you all. Uh, I must say it's really also nice to see such a massive representation of Polish guys today uh, for my dear uh, fellow countrymen. Well, um, Thematis. Thematis is a French company founded almost 10 years ago in Paris. And we are a team of uh, highly qualified consultants trying to provide a comprehensive uh, understanding of, of photonics, of trends, markets, use and applications. And our um, main activities actually involve um, uh, commercial business development. Uh, we also do marketing studies. We, we do technological transfer, strategic consulting in photonics, but also reports as in this case. And today, actually, I would like to present you for the very first time the sneak preview of our latest report on miniature micro and chip size spectrometers. And what, why we have decided to spend uh, time to prepare this topic for our customers. So first of all, we already investigated a compact spectrometers market four years ago in 2016. And one of our main conclusions was that um, there are many companies trying to provide a um, miniature and micro devices with comparable performance to a traditional lab spectrometer. It's very precise, but with lower size and lower cost, uh, allowing to reach the both industrial applications inline and atline, like optical characterization, uh, chemi chemistry, process control, and so on, but also to provide the tools for handheld and portable instruments for professionals and for application experts. And this was one of our main conclusions. And after four years, we are um, happy to confirm our predictions, our revenue of the market from 2016, that the compact spectroscopy, spectroscopy market is growing steady with 10 and 20% despite the COVID. We have many examples of new uh, instruments for, for professionals, for application experts, like even for, for daily use, like hair analyzers, soil analyzers, textile identifiers, food testers, and so on. But what is really a turning point on the market now in 2020, which is a breakthrough moment, is a emergence of cheap size spectrometers, which is a totally new thing. And one, why we are, um, why we draw this, these conclusions, what we are allow ourselves to say it. First of all, we, we did a research. We, we did more than 60 interviews with main players of the market. I, me personally, I did 33 interviews. We, we took part in several uh, conferences and scientific um, exhibition shows. And we also applied our methodology, our experience, our knowledge. And we really see that this is a breakthrough moment for compact spectroscopy, spectroscopy market. And there are four main arguments for this. First of all, big players. So there are big players there, AMS, Viavi, Henkel, Bosch, 
all of them already have a manuf they manufacture instruments based on chip size spectro spectrometers. The second thing is the technology. The technology is only one step away from implementing the spectrometers into what? In mobile devices, in wearables and other small devices. And this is a breakthrough moment. The uh, third point is that the AI, machine learning, deep learning, all of this is very um, developed now and it can also be applied into spectroscopy. And fourth, the applications already exist. They are, there are contracts signed in the companies which we mentioned in our report. So we put in your hands, we put the latest report that we describe the market revenue, players, trends, technologies, applications, and well, who will go, who will gonna catch the value? We will see. Uh, you will see in our report all the all the all the methodology, all the trends. And um, I'm really looking forward to your questions. If uh, anyone is, is interested, I can provide you the flyer of the report. Looking forward to your questions. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, I have to say that uh, Thematics is really a research company. It's an R and D company making research on the markets and they are very very professional people i'm really happy to have you in epic and as you know we are also one of your customers we buy many of the reports from you and we are extremely happy with the quality the future is to go into having photonics as a semiconductor technology that's clear we is unstoppable uh, i have uh, of course many of your uh, your company is sharing our network and they are moving towards having hyperspectral imaging on chip. I think we have seen quite an evolution from IMEC and from different mm -hmm. silicon photonics foundries and silicon foundries into going to the adding CMOS uh, hyperspectral imaging on chip. What is your vision towards that? What is your preferred future toward having hyperspectral imaging in the consumer products? I mean, you just need to observe the market and see that already um, iPhones already Samsung uh, smartphones has ambient light sensors that that need, needs uh, 60 50 pixels for redundancy and you can see that technology is just one step from from spectroscopy and then of course in the future why not hyperspectral imaging in, in wearable devices so it's really a passionate uh, uh, exciting topic for for us and the, all of these small sensors that open up completely new possibilities for daily users for consumers for medical applications this is growing as well because of covid so I, I, I really I really like this topic myself because it's really exciting so for me the dream is to actually have in your mobile phone to have a hyperspectral imaging camera and actually being able to know the the quality of the food that you are about to eat or the quality of the the environment around you or even being able to check if uh, the plants that you have in your house are, are healthy that's the dream but the dream is actually a reality uh, what kind of big things have you seen in the market what kind of big booms have you observed that, that made you extremely happy to, to, to like that industry like I do? As I mentioned, first of all, the real thing is that big companies come to this, to this market and big companies invest and there are already contracts and research in, in, in huge companies we mentioned in the report dealing with that. You can see that there is just a, just a development as in camera market that we have first had first the cameras separate from smartphones and then they were uh, integrated and then you have only one hand hardware and the variable software which can be also customized on developed by cons customers and this is where the applications emerge and they rapid rapidly growing because because you have society that can use this hardware and based on variable software can use can build many different solutions if you want to hear what companies like Nanolanda, which is like quite an amazing breakthrough in these technologies, what iMac, what Avantes, what Ocean Optics, what you have to talk to my friend Jacek Jankovie Parcho. You know, after the meeting, you can sing Stola Stola to me because it's my birthday today. Thank you very much, Jacek, oh, for this. God. Why don't we move to the next presentation? I'm not going to hide this. I am a passionate for the micro optics revolution that Europe is living over the last two years. This is the biggest thing that has happened in photonics over the last 20 years. For me, since LEDs, we haven't had something as big as micro optics in Europe. And one of the key companies that, that actually revolution the sector is EVG. But EVG also is a semicon equipment company. And today, today, Bozena is going to talk to us about how they are actually making a breakthrough 
y maskless Lito, which is a huge topic. Bosena, thank you very much for joining from beautiful Austria today. The floor and the attention of everyone goes to Florian Anin, a beautiful, beautiful city. The floor is yours. We have you muted. I want to hear your voice. Let me see if we can solve that. Yes. We still have you muted. Yes, click on mute. Yes. Voila. <laughs> All right. Thank you for, very much for your nice introduction. And let me quickly share my screen as we are um, limited with time, as always. We are you're right on time. Eh? Fourth presentation is at 40. We are late. <laughs> right. Let me just put it in a presentation mode. All right. Um, hello, everybody. I'm very glad to have this opportunity presenting to you uh, today about an, our new product release, a little scale. Can you see my next slide, please? <laughs> yes. Very good. And I would like to start off this presentation with a brief introduction about the EV group, so who we are. Uh, we are a leading supplier for wafer processing equipment for MEMS, nanotechnology, and all possible semiconductor markets, as you might probably already know. Uh, the group was founded in the 90s by Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Talner, and currently we are having more than 1,000 employees worldwide. The headquarters are uh, in Aus nice Austria and with fully owned uh, subsidiaries in USA, Japan, South Korea, um, Taiwan, and China. Um, but I would like to also highlight that the R&D efforts are always uh, between the top priorities when it comes to uh, decision making and recent developments. And these are reflected of our most um, prominent uh, product systems portfolio, uh, which are in, in between of uh, hybrid bonding, laser bonding, fusion bonding, um, uh, nano imprint lithography, uh, which is uh, currently fitting for um, high volume manufacturing needs, and finally, maskless exposure technology, uh, which is implemented in the little scale system, which I would like to dedicate to. All right, the motivation for developing such a revolutionary technology was mainly related to challenges in backhand lithography, and mainly these are driven uh, by the industry shift towards 3D and heterogeneous integration, as you might already probably know, for high power and high performance uh, uh, computing applications and all the megatrends applications. Um, I have listed these into three main points. Uh, the flexibility need is becoming one of the most important and most challenging when it comes to the uh, already mentioned industry trends. And not only due to fast innovation and a lot of design changes, but also to be able to stay competitive. And that's also to keep the designs confidential in-house and therefore also to be able to shorten the development cycles between R&D and HBM phases. Secondly, scalability in terms of patterning of various substrate sizes, materials, as well as being able to adapt to high substrate stress, wall or warp. And last but not least, cost of ownership, very important topic for decision-making points of uh, any company. And this is taken into account uh, equipment consumables costs and, of course, high mass costs for different chip designs and also mask inventory management. So how this idea was transformed to the reality, uh, the graphical visualization of the patterning process is on the right hand side, where we can see uh, multiple exposure modules patterning in the stripe fashion and the while whole surface is being also scanned during all the time. The exposure module is equipped with a high power UV laser diode system, allowing us patterning with 375 nanometers and 405 nanometers of wavelength simultaneously, or in the single mode if preferred. And the whole optical system is proprietary design and owned and has 24 micron depth of focus. The formats which can be processed are standard GDS2 or optionally also Gerber ODB++ or OSIS. And the system is equipped uh, with a high precision stage and provides also multiple advanced alignment capabilities. On this slide, I listed only some of the cool features of the system. And as the system is running digitally, uh, it can also flexibly compensate for a mechanical die placement and stress inducing accuracies like um, displacement, scaling errors, uh, or different uh, error corrections. Die layout can be patterned also individually. 
meaning the eye-level annotation like serial numbers, QR codes, fuse maps, or uh, encryption keys, anything can be patterned really ad hoc as the complete system architecture is really running on the powerful digital processing uh, unit in the background. And therefore, also whole procedure uh, and system runs basically in real time. Another huge advantage of this digital lithography technology is to narrow down the process um, window using focus exposure of wavelength dose metrics, where numerous process conditions can be tested in once and in the real environment. And um, user does can define and customize the setup here for dose variation up to 4,000 millijoule, for example. Then the user uh, exposure wavelength can be uh, also set it up as already mentioned in any kind of mixture. And finally, of course, also focus position from minus 12 up to plus 12 micrometers. On the right-hand side is visualized this layout example, which we used for each material evaluation as an example. And one of my last slides reflects the process performance of lithoscale system where you can see selection of materials which have been evaluated already. There's all, also, of course, more. And one more uh, last note, the throughput of the system and patterning performance are not influenced by the resist polarity or layout complexity. Uh, last uh, but not least, uh, let me conclude this presentation, very fast presentation with these takeaways. So uh, being able to stay competitive with the traditional and already established patterning technologies and or even bring more added values was the main goal of EVG for developing such a uh, revolutionary little scale system where a mask-free manufacturing, a low pro high product mix variation, agile processing, and mainly digital infrastructure without any need of consumables or mask sets. Individual dye processing enables exposure of individual elements like dye level annotation. And finally, fast fulfill positioning. The system offers multiple advanced alignment capabilities. All right, last but not least, I would like to thank to EPIC team. Thank you for organizing this event, for giving us this opportunity. And uh, yeah, uh, gentlemen, thank you, uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, stay tuned. And most importantly, stay healthy. Thank you. Most important is stay healthy from EVG. Thank you very much for a great presentation. I think at the end of the day, all we want is to help the success story on semiconductor equipment and micro optics production EVG to be even better. Uh, we have a question for you coming from Holo Or in Israel. Nathan, what's on your mind? Yeah, just two small questions. Is this machine grayscale capable or is it only for binary exposures? Um, oh, yes. Um, very good question. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, yes, the grayscale is still being uh, pretty much explored, uh, not only from the equipment point side, uh, but also material uh, point side of view. So uh, we are having multiple multiple experiments still. We are not fully there, but uh, this is one of the roadmap points. And one small question, a alignment accuracy over like a single wafer range, not the entire range. Mm -hmm. Alignment accuracy is, um, of course, uh, within the digital grid, which we offer. But what we refer to always is overlay accuracy. That means uh, layer to layer. That means how much we can align to the second and third layer. And that's uh, uh, below one micron currently on 700 nanometers. Thank you. Pues bueno, más lexitografía is, is a really hot topic. Everybody is very interested. We are collaborating with European Mask Lithography Conference, and every time you say maskless, everybody will open the eyes. <laughs> uh, what is your preferred future for maskless litho? How, how do you see this opening as a bigger and bigger market? Um, uh, I think that um, currently the industry is very much focused on high performance computing applications and I really hope that these high performance elements could be also implemented in the industrial equipment like uh, direct rights or maskless exposures and therefore we could uh, maybe achieve even uh, even more more impressive uh, speeds. And uh, yeah, now it's already uh, real time, but of course, uh, the digital processing and the data which is going in the background, you can imagine is really huge. And for ad hoc changes and so on and so on, there will be definitely some more options uh, in the future. This, this is, is my I... vision here. So the semiconductor market is going to make a paradigm shift. 
Uh, we are going to hear, you said quantum computing, you didn't, but you meant it, we're going to go to quantum computing, we are going to need new materials, we are going to need also the integration of optics and photonics and electronics very close to each other. And the only way to do this is multi-layer semiconductor processing. And the moment that you increase the amount of layers, you reach a point in which you have to really customize the production for the application. And having masks for every process is not anymore, anymore economically sustainable. And that's where massless Lito is going to make a revolution. That's my personal vision on this. I am extremely excited about this. Actually, we're going to develop a market report to explain how big mass Lito is going to be. And I will be contacting you, Bosena, for this. Thank you very much for a great presentation. And once Thank again, you. for being one of the success stories in the European <laughs> ecosystem. Thank and you. you know what, Bosena? You did it great, but I have to say that we saved the best for the last. We go to Modulite, and the reason we go to Modulite is because we love when a company starts for developing a process for manufacturing material, actually growth, all the way to making equipment that they actually put an ophthalmologist clinics. This company covers the whole supply chain for production of the material to making instruments based on lasers on three fives. And they are such a success story that they are actually investing 27 million to increase the production capacity in 11,000 square meters. I wanna hear this beautiful good news for the ecosystem from Jari himself. Modulite, tell us how wonderful your life is. Great, great. It's the fall is coming and the uh, summer has been really nice. So the uh, life is good. Life is good. All right. Um, I shared the presentation. Do you see it? Okay. Crystal clear. Excellent. Excellent. Again, uh, thank you very much for the introduction and good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Yari Silampa. And I'm here to introduce Modulite and our $27 million investment to our FAB fax expansion. Modulite is one of the leading diode laser solution providers, and we are located in Tampere, as Jose nicely introduced, uh, in the Fodrings Valley of Finland, as we call it. And I will start my presentation with a quick introduction video to, to Modulite. Modulite is creating lasers for state-of-the-art medical devices. Our strategy is to continue to invest and develop our semiconductor capability. We design and manufacture lasers for cancer treatment, ophthalmology, in vivo and in vitro studies, as well as for a number of other medical applications. Our lasers can be found inside satellites, automotive lidars, fiber lasers, telecom diagnostic equipment, industrial diagnostic machines, and many others. Modulite is a fast-growing, highly profitable private company. Modulite Semiconductor Fab was opened in 2001. Since then, we've added a lot of space to build our 40,000 square foot site and continue to plan for new investments. All right. So, uh, continuing the kind of introduction to Modulite, Modulite offers solutions in three main categories. First, life science sectors, where we cover applications like PDT, photodynamic therapy, as an example. Then secondly, a custom and industrial sector, where we cover applications like LiDAR, 3D sensing and illumination. And also we provide services like specialized help to customers in la laser regulatory topics, design and engineering work, and product life cycle support. Monolite has turned 20s uh, this year, not anymore a teenager. We started our journey in 2000 by providing laser components for telecom industry. Since then, we have expanded our product offering from components to subsystems and up to full complete solutions. Applications ranging from elimination, pharmaceutical research, laser range finding to photodynamic therapy and remote sensing. Today, Modulite is a vertically integrated laser diet solution provider that serves customers in all continents except Antarctica. During the last couple of years, we have been able to engage multiple Fortune 500 customers and due to the increase in demand for our products, we are announcing $27 million investments to FAP expansion. 
We are increasing our production space by 11,000 square feet. Additionally, we are increasing our equipment capacity by pro procuring a new equipment covering the whole line from Epitaxel Grove to final assembly and testing. And of course, we are hiring new people. And at, at this moment, we have more than 20 open positions ranging from engineering to production and business planning. To summarize my presentation, Modulon has been in the market for 20 years and has a wide long expertise in semiconductor lasers and solutions. We are going strong and we have commenced a new investment in space, equipment and people to be able to serve our customers and address their requirements even better in the future. And as a conclusion, I want to remark that we have at the end of this month, Modulite Life virtual meeting series coming up, which you can check from our webpage. And please welcome to, to meet us in, in that uh, meeting series. And this concludes my presentation. Thank you. Thank you very and much. The Jerry. lines are open for questions. Thank you very much, Jari, for this. It is indeed one of the success stories, having the, the, the idea of having Tampere as the epicenter for the revolution of MB growth. I actually did my PhD with having Marcus Pesa as the supplier of my material. So imagine how happy I am to have this company growing towards being a giant in developing instruments with their own material growth. It is quite, quite, quite an amazing story. Jari, let's talk mm -hmm. about, you told us the present, but the present is to enable the future. Let's talk about your preferred future. What do you think new markets and new opportunities this extra capacity of Modulite is going to open up? Well, basically we have our customer projects going on that uh, we are developing certain new products for our customers. And we are seeing in the future that we need more capacity to actually cover or e even the existing orders that, and, and the kind of existing projects that we have coming up in the line on the line and moving into volume production in the in the near future and of course in the uh, kind of looking at the uh, possible other new applications that we are working on uh like radar or lidar type of applications that's also where we see a bright future for our products one of the things, the beautiful things that I hear from Modulite is the, the achievements in photodynamic therapy that actually is getting a lot of attention from many different corners. Could you tell us in 30, 45 seconds how this is making a big difference? Yes, that's a big, big thing. I mean, one of the applications that we are especially working on is the cancer treatments. And as you know, that most of the uh, cancer treatments are where there's not necessarily a cure for all of these, these things. However, with the uh, existing uh, research that we have done with the uh, uh, kind of uh, world leading experts, we have been able to provide solutions to, to hands of uh, doctors to be able to really cure some of the uh, cancer, uh, cancer uh, cells and cancer cells and, and especially certain type of cancer uh, cancers. So that's definitely a kind of life changing uh, development that we have been able to do there and being able to really help uh, doctors to to cure the patients. And, and, and uh, you know, that's really an area that is developing really, really fast. And we are happy to be part of that development. One of the things that is quite a common denominator in all the industry in the laser diode business is that their customers remain very accurate wavelengths for very specific application. You saw the presentation from EVG right now at the Master Slito, the laser diodes that you use. We have presentations on light that are very, 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 uh, very exact wavelength. Is, the, is having your own facilities for growth giving you that flexibility? Absolutely, yes. I mean, the uh, certain laser technologies that like DPF lasers that we are also manufacturing, those are really targeting to that market where you very specific wavelengths are required and covering the kind of wavelength range. We start from the 400 region up to 2000 nanometers of, of wavelengths and we will be able to really manufacture the laser to the application requirements. So we don't necessarily have to settle with certain type of and do some compromises to, to provide a solution for application. So we will be able to take the requirements by the application and the specific requirements by, for the wavelength and we'll be able to provide such a solution to, to really match the requirement by the application.
Yari, sky is the limit for you. For those of you who wonder when, it, when they can see me next time moving like this, on Monday, 19th of October, Advanced and Additive Metal Manufacturing Online Technology Meetings. This is the calendar for all the upcoming online technology meetings. You can find it at the EPIC website. I'm going to celebrate my birthday right now with all of you. So thank you very much for a great meeting. And I would like to remind you, all of you, that EPIC is here to support you. Ask us to do anything for you. If it's legal, we'll do it. If it's not, we will not tell anyone. And the next time, do not forget that we are here for you. If you want to get in touch with any of the participants, send me an email, jose.pozo at epic.answer.com, and I could be more than happy to introduce you and to make sure you do business. Epic keeps growing on behalf of all the Epic staff, experts on lasers, on optics, on medical devices, on photonic integrated circuits. We are here to be with you, and we are so happy to be the biggest and also the most active, as you can see, the most energetic association in the world. Until the next time, keep being epic. See you very soon. Bye-bye.